Good morning. I haven't seen you for a little while and you haven't seen me. Uh, today is Saturday, August the 15th, day 26, and we're looking at the Celtic saint called Saint Ninian. Saint Ninian is a very early Celtic saint. Uh, you, you know, of course, that the Celtic saints operated for a, a window of three or four hundred years, and uh, Ninian is attributed as being the first saint to Scotland, so his dates are round about 360 to 432 AD. And as somebody who first went north to the Picts in Scotland, he had a dangerous job. We know how dangerous the Picts are. My mother's Scottish. She tells me they're dangerous and she's dangerous. Now, uh, St Ninian's shrine uh, nowadays is in Galloway in Whithorn. And I know it quite well because my son Nathaniel used to be an outdoor educator for Bar Capel Christian Centre. And near to that shrine, there's a cave down by the sea called St Ninian's Cave. It's a small sea cave that you can visit by walking from the land, or you can come inshore on a drascom. A drascom is a perfect boat to go in very na narrow, shallow water. And you drift up to Ninian's Cave, where reputedly he used to go and hang out and be still with God. More of that in a moment. By the way, I personally, when I studied the Celtic saints, used to mix his name, name with another guy called Finian. Uh, and Finian, of course, is 200 years later. Actually, Matt mentioned him in his blog a few days ago, talking about Columba. Because uh, Finian lent Columba of, of Iona a copy of the Psalter, the Psalms. And uh, because of... Uh, misuse of the book, uh, a war was started. Very sad story. But Columba of Iona, of Iona was 200 years later, and his ministry, of course, was with ministry amongst the northern Picts. So let's go back to Ninian. Ninian of South Scotland, of Galloway. He had an effective ministry amongst the southern Picts, and we met, remember him this day. As I remember him, uh, I recall that we must be missionaries to wherever we go. It is our job in our generation to make sure that the gospel is known. Now, how will that be known? I'll give you a reading from John's gospel, which uh, is allocated for this day. Jesus said this in John 14, verse 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, Whoever believes in me, the works that I do, that person will also do. And greater works than these, because I'm going to the Father. Those words of Jesus are very powerful words. He's saying that we are going to be involved in a greater ministry, even than the works that he has done. And of course, we can be involved in the ministry of Jesus when the Holy Spirit works in our lives. I wonder what you're going to do today. I wonder in what way God will inspire you. I've just come back from holidays, you know. I'm bouncing with the joy of being grandpa. I suspect Matt is as well. But what is God's call for me today? Of course it is to look after a little scrap for whom I've become grandpa. But today I'm going to take a day to be quiet. I'm going to Hillfield Friary uh, before my busy term starts again. And I'm going to walk with my spiritual director over the hills. And we're just going to chew the fat and say some prayers. God has called us to do greater works than Jesus did in our time, in our age.